Woo. Day 241. Hey, what are you doing today? <laughs> That's funny, for, for a second I remembered the very, the very first one of these I did 241 days ago. And, uh, I took a couple, a couple pulls of the uh, chain on the old chainsaw to get it going until I finally just said, you know, just just do it and and uh, and film it. But I uh, I remember that I, I made a couple quick little attempts at uh, videotaping myself talking, and uh, it was so foreign to me and so uh, unusual to me. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to start. And uh, there for a second, I was kind of in that, that same frame of mind. Um, only this time, it's not, you know, what do I say or how do I start? It's, it's, uh, I know what I want to say. Um, it's more, uh, I guess it's still how to start, but how do I, how do I, how do I format it all together? And, uh, I guess I should comment on one, on a, I, I'll start with this comment. I was listening, I, I came across some information yesterday and I was listening to it. And uh, after probably maybe getting about five, five or six minutes into it, I didn't like the way the information was being presented to me. It was, uh, you know, the, the the way it was a, a gentleman that was speaking, and the way that he was speaking was almost a little bit contrite, almost a little bit derogatory towards some other things I've been looking into. And it was kind of matter of fact, and 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 kind of you know. The, these are the answers. The other answers aren't the answers. And I've, I've, I've tried to keep a very open perspective to everything that I've been been taking in, or, or you know, uh, uh, putting on to myself, or, or immersing myself in. And uh, you know, after five or six minutes to listen to this guy, I was ready to turn it off. And then something clicked in my brain, and it, it said, "Wait a second, You know, it actually didn't even say that. It, 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 you know, just something told me to continue to listen to it. And, but what it did do is it opened up my mind now that even if there's something that I don't agree with or something that, you know, the presentation doesn't sit right with me, whatever the case might be, I need to keep my my willingness to learn open enough to pay attention to what's being said, uh, find the pieces of information that are useful, uh, find the, you know, look at the other side for what it is, and... Uh, but not be closed-minded in any way, shape, or form, you know, just because something doesn't sit quite right with me or whatever the case might be. Maybe there is something valid and valuable that's coming from it. And what's funny was, as I continued to listen to this person talk, I started to enjoy what they were talking about. I started to enjoy their perspective. I recognized certain things or certain ways that they said things that I... I didn't necessarily uh, appreciate the their their choice of words or, or uh, you know whatever the case might be there, um, but uh, but as I listened to it, it turned into like seven hours of listening to this person, and it was you know one of the more valuable things that I've come across. Um, and it's kind of tough to differentiate what's valuable and what's not valuable because sometimes I'll pick up something, and it doesn't seem that pertinent, and then two months later I'll run across kind of the same idea and it sparks that and then I understand it a little bit better and then it, then it does become more valuable but um but there were you know a, a couple components to comment on that is you know the, what I was listening to yesterday was just uh I mean, what is what is my willingness to learn and how how open am I to learning and uh you know I, I would say that at this point I'm I'm extremely open to the point where um you know I, I it's 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 my my one one real goal is uh, is to continue to educate myself and continue to become wiser and become, continue to, to to gain a better control of myself and a better control of the world around me um but uh but with that you know I I have to recognize not to shut anything off not to not to close any doors for any reason, even if you know, even if I totally don't agree with it, you know, there might be something down the road that that that, that, that makes sense for that that door to be there. So I need to be aware of it. I need to accept it. I need to encourage um, encourage that. 
the other thing that came up yesterday was uh, foundation and preparing the soil. And I'm thinking I'm 241 days into this. Um, you know, I, I didn't know where I was going, and I, I and I don't have any great expectation. I have some kind of sense of uh, of, of where I'm going, and, and you know, I have a I, I see a beacon. I'm not sure what that beacon or light is exactly, but I but uh, but I'm driving towards it. You know, every day, just continually driving towards it. Um, but here it is, day 241, and all of a sudden. It came down to preparing the soil, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> everything that I'm doing right now is 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 just preparing the soil. That's that's really all it is. I'm uh, you know I'm I'm laying the, the groundwork. I'm laying the foundation, and 241 days, and I'm still at that point, and I'm totally okay with that. Um, in the back of my mind, you know, there's been thoughts that 241 days, I should see more progress. I should, you know. Uh, uh, perhaps there's something lacking in me that I'm not, you know, not not setting the world on fire, not 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 changing everything, you know. And uh, but really, when it comes down to it, all I've been doing all this time is, is preparing the soil. Um, you know, I, I believe this. Uh, you know, the, the seed the seed was planted on day one, but uh, but I've been constantly tilling over and 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 and, and fertilizing everything and and, uh, and and just just creating that foundation. Uh, to grow something from that's where I'm at uh, day 241 and I'm not I'm not ashamed to admit that in some ways I'm kind of proud of that because it really comes down to the, the, the strength of the foundation um, and I, I, I know that's something I've heard before I know that's something fairly common so anyway uh, had another little interruption there but uh, I think I might be coming down with that that little little winter cold or something something's going on but anyway um, you know, day 241, I'm really building that foundation, and it's funny because the other thing that this person was talking about was 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 uh, concentrating on the fundamentals, concentrating on the basics, getting down the basics, and getting you know getting those fundamentals down. And, uh, and there's so many different fundamentals that I'm studying right now. It's it, in terms of uh, in terms of who I am, how I react, how I interpret things, how. How I maintain myself, how I, you know, how I maintain my awareness, um, what my vision is. You know, there's so many, so many different variables in those basic elements that uh, that uh, that I, I that I, I need to concentrate on, and, and and that's really what it is. Is is getting for me is getting those um, the basics mastered. You know, how I how I react to people, how I interpret people, how I treat people, what I expect from people, what I expect from myself, all those kind of things. All those basic things, you know, how I how I handle anger, how I handle frustration, the, you know, how I would handle some of the darker emotions, um, you know, the responses, um, drive towards success. What is success? You know, I I, I heard success defined the other day um, by uh, success is how blissfully happy you are, and I think that's a great uh, definition of success. It's not. You know, it's it's, it's not uh, what kind of car do I drive? What? How big is my house? Where's my yacht? How many countries have I been to? It's all those are great elements of success if that's what uh, an individual wants, I believe. But what it really comes down to is success is for me, and that is the key element. Uh, may not be the the one and only definition. Um, tough to compartmentalize things like that, but uh, but it's a great great way to for me to look at things as success is, is how blissfully happy I am and I'm growing more blissfully happy every day there's no doubt about it uh, emotions will change there'll be ups and downs but I'm, I'm growing more blissfully happy every day but uh, but uh, back to the fundamentals and maintain, maintaining the fundamentals this gentleman told a really good story uh, I really kind of took it to heart he was talking about the Shaolin monks um, which I don't know too much about. I know that they're they're a branch of monks in China. They they couldn't they they struggled to defend their temple, their their their, their Shaolin temple. So they they went out and they they tried to find people to help defend their temple. And they learned all these different techniques to fight. And they got all these people together that that uh, with all these different different branches of martial arts. And they they became the best of the best. Um, uh, and then, again, this is my little understanding. So this, so there might be some some things incorrect here, but uh, but they, you know they, they, they 
they also incorporated meditation into their training into their their so that they could defend their temple um they learned to fight and meditate at the same time um which or practice fighting pra train for fighting and meditate not necessarily fight but but you know there was a meditation in their training and uh Basically, the well, there's, there, there's two things that came out of it. Um, one was uh, he he wanted to show this guy how to throw a punch. The Shaolin monk was well, the guy said he already knew how to throw a punch. He wanted to learn something, you know, something uh, more, uh, something more than just a, just a basic punch. The monk asked to see his punch, and he, he lit a candle. He said, "Throw a punch and get as close to the candle as you can. Stop your fist as close to the flame as you can." And the gentleman uh, threw a very good punch, and, and you know came within you know an, an inch or half an inch of the the flame, and was very proud of what what he had done, the, you know the, the the skill of his punch and how close he had come to the flame, and and then the monk threw a punch, and he was I don't know, I don't remember the exact distance, but a, a foot or two away from the the flame of the candle, and in throwing this punch, it blew the flame out. Um, and as silly and as subtle and as simple as that seems, uh, his punch was so strong and so forceful that uh, that it continued long after his fist stopped. Whereas the other, anyway, <laughs> um, but uh, but a good story. Uh, just that uh, always, you know, what it, what it taught me was to always recognize that, uh, that there's always still something more to learn. That uh, even when I, I I feel like I've mastered something recognize that I'm you know I'm still an apprentice uh, in some regards and that you know never be overly confident that I that I have something fully understood because there could always be some kind of open variable that I'm that I'm missing and uh the other thing just a, a good quote and I don't know where this quote comes from and I'm gonna you know I'll, I'll misquote it a little bit but um the uh the Shaolin monks said uh you know I'm not afraid of the 10,000 strikes that you know that you've only practiced one time but I'm definitely afraid of the one strike that you know that you've practiced 10,000 times um, and I think that's a just a great uh, just a great statement just um, you know as I as I learn these basic things to recognize that uh, that uh, that I've never mastered them that there's always something to to do there's always something to practice even as simple as something as like yesterday when I mentioned my 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 new exercises to not say anything negative um and you know what i made it the whole day i was kind of a i was kind of impressed by that um you know i had a couple a couple of things that i said kind of jokingly that, that that might have had a little bit of negative connotation but i didn't openly feed it feed any negative energy into the ether that, <laughs> around me um from that um it's funny today i'm getting getting hit I, I, have, I have no desire to to do my job in any way shape or form and it's been like that for a week and I'm, I'm totally okay with that um, and I'm getting hit left and right with things that I need to do and it's a, it's an interesting distraction um, but I need to that's another thing I've been training is how to stay aware of distractions and how to remain undistracted by things so it's a good test you know it's a I can feel I can sense <clears throat> as I've been recording this has been a couple texts a couple phone calls the morning kind of started out um, outside of my uh, my specific control and my and uh, you know it's just a all I want to do is, is is study and learn and and, uh, and 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 get into that. But it's funny I'm being hit with all these tests right now, and I could allow myself to grow frustrated. I could allow the day to trickle that way, and that's how I would have done it 242 days ago. Um, I would have been, you know, uh, frustrated and, and, and upset and, you know, feeling like things are out of my control. But now I recognize it as a test, just a simple test to you know, let it enter in my conscious, uh, see how I handle it, um, keep the keep my world under my control, uh, and, uh, and make the best of it. So, one of the basics. One of the many basics, one of the main, many things that uh, I need to continue to practice. But um, what it really comes down to is uh, I'm tilling the soil. You know, I'm, uh, uh, I'm building the foundation. 241 days into it, and and I'm still constructing that. This could be a four or five, ten year endeavor before I ever feel that I'm 
um, I've mastered something enough to teach it to someone. Um, and even, you know, even at that point, uh, hopefully I'll still recognize that, uh, that I'm an apprentice and I need, uh, there's a lot of things to learn, but, um, but I'm okay with building this foundation, you know, build it as strong as I possibly can and then build up from there. So day 241. Hey, what are you doing today? Thanks.